Hello everyone, I've had this Eco Pro 2 disc cleaning machine for a while now. Not, not too, too long, I don't know, maybe four or five months or so. And I've used it for 300, well, I've used it for 407 minutes now total. And I get asked quite a bit, uh, is this machine worth it? Um, do you feel like you use it enough to make it worthwhile? It's a good question. I think it's one you should be asking yourself before you buy it because the total cost of ownership, total cost of cleaning per disc is going to vary wildly uh, based on how much you use. So first of all, um, the machine is very simple to operate. So I have this disc here, Resident Evil Gold Edition. It's got a few little scratches i don't know if you guys can see that or not let me make sure you can yeah you see there's a few scratches right there i don't like that i want to take those out they look like they're a little deepish i'm going to put it on a two minute cycle just so i can be real sure that they're knocked out while it's doing that we're going to talk about the uh, actual cost of this machine and uh, how much it's going to cost you per disc based on how many discs you clean. So the cost of the machine, first of all, uh, as of right now, as of today, when I'm filming this video, uh, shipped to the door is $16,18.95. Now with that $16,18.95, you get a key card, you get solution, you get, um, it'll come with a set of two pads like this, and uh, that's it. So um, you'll have enough in there to actually clean. It depends on how much time you spend per disc. If very rarely do I encounter discs that need uh, 30 seconds of cleaning, which is what you get when you just press start. It automatically does 30 seconds. Uh, typically, I'm gonna you do at least a minute and Usually, if it's worth cleaning, I'm probably going to do two minutes. Your mileage may vary. Uh, maybe the, the average is more like a minute and a half, a minute 45 seconds per, per disc. But I'm basing all the math for the sake of this video on two minutes because it makes the math a lot easier. And I think it's probably pretty close to an average clean, uh, depending on how you, you're using the machine. Now, the pads, these pads, once you use them for... I don't know. I think it's probably about 20 minutes or so. They start to get really caked. These are these are really dirty here. I need to clean these. They start to get caked in the cleaning solution, as you can see here. And the machine will actually tell you to change out the pads. Um, and at that point, you just take these pads, you clean them out underneath some warm water. Our disc is our disc is done. Let's take a look at it. See how good it did. Okay, it did fine. I don't see those scratches I was trying to get rid of. So this disc is ready to go. This is this is the beauty of this machine, is that you put the disc in, you take the disc out, you put it in the uh, thing, and you're done. There's no other there's no other thing other thing to do there. Uh, you don't have to wipe it off or anything like that. But yeah, after about 20 minutes of cleaning time, you have to switch pads out. So it comes with a set of two pads, and really, if you're gonna do any amount of cleaning, I highly recommend that you buy extra pads uh, when you first get the machine. Because when you do like rinse these out under warm water, you need to let them actually dry out 100%. They can't even be a little damp or it's gonna mess up the cleaning of the disc. It's gonna leave solution and streaks and whatnot on the disc. They have to be bone dry before you use them again after you clean them out. So basically, however many pads you start the day with, that's how many you're going to be able to use that day. Um, I don't think it's really, uh, I don't think it's really gonna be possible to clean the pads during the day and then use that same set of pads again that day, unless you find a better way to dry them than I do. And I don't wanna damage the pads, so I don't like use a hair dryer or anything like that. So I would recommend you uh, buy three extra sets of pads. I also rec recommend that you buy them. Make an adapter plate uh, for GameCube disc. I recommend while you're doing that, you go ahead and buy that at the same time. 
and that will be $63.40 delivered to your door if you buy that stuff. So that's the upfront cost. $16.18.95 for the machine, $63.40 for the pads and adapter plate. And the machine, like I said, it comes with an 800 minute card. So um, key card. So if you don't know, uh, <laughs> A lot, a lot of you will not like this part. Uh, this little key card right here, this ensures that you only use the EcoPro solution, the official stuff they sell, because the refill kits, as you'll see on the screen, uh, they come with a new key. So you can't really use, unless there's a hack of some sort or whatever, you can't really use generic cleaning solution instead of the stuff or I mean you can but you're gonna have to buy this anyways with the key key card combination and ship to the door that supply kit as of today is $98.95 for 800 minutes but it does come with 800 minutes so for the first like let's say if you just cleaned 400 discs and I'm, I'm assuming two minutes per disc so that will use up 800 minutes total of your time then uh, your cost per disc would be $4.21, which would be really, really high. So if you're, if you only expect to clean 400 discs, um, I would have somebody else do it, like a service do it or bring it to a store or, or, or use like an inferior machine um, to do it. It may, may require a little more manpower on your part. But yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think this machine is going to cut it. But as you could tell, at the more discs you clean, the cheaper it gets. At 800 discs, $2.23 per disc. At 1200 discs, $1.57 per disc. And here's the kind of the sweet spot. 2400 discs, 90 cents per disc. So I think that's kind of the point. I think, in my opinion, if you're going to buy one of this, these machines, I think in the within some reasonable amount of time, whether it be a year or two years or whatever, uh, you should at least plan on being able to clean at least 2,400 discs to make this machine pay off, to make it worthwhile. Uh, and if we go even further, 9,600 discs, it becomes 41 cents per disc. 18,200 discs, it becomes 35 cents per disc. 100,000 discs, it becomes 27 cents per disc. Now, that raises some questions. Will this machine make it through 100,000 cycles before something breaks down, the motor burns out? Um, some of these other mechanics, I mean, it's a mechanical machine, so there's a lot of moving parts here. Um, can it, would it be able to go 100,000 discs before something breaks? I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, that also, you know, when we talk about longevity, uh, will, the, will the company be in business? What if they go out of business tomorrow and now we can't buy these key cards anymore? What do we do then, right? <laughs> so I, I don't know, There, you know, that's probably not gonna happen, but there is some chance of it happening, I guess. So uh, yeah, just some things to think about there. But I, again, I would say for, for me, 2400, at 2400 disc, Within a couple of years, you're spending 90 cents a disc, and it's a really convenient, really handy thing to have around instead of having to find some other way to get your disc repaired. And, and the, the thing that I really like about it, I could put the disc down, close it, start it, walk off, record this video or whatever I wanna do. And then I come back, the machine is opened up, it's ready for me to take the disc out, give it a five second inspection, put it back in the case, we're good to go. So just thought I would share this information with y'all. And of course you have to tweak the numbers if you say, yeah, but Lonnie, uh, I actually only clean on average a minute per disc. Well, now the, the numbers change drastically, or if it's a minute 30, uh, the numbers change drastically. It gets a lot cheaper. But uh, one thing you can't change though, is the initial cost of the machine of 16, 18, 95. And that's what makes the numbers kind of hard at first because it is not cheap. Uh, for me, it is worth it. I love it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll see y'all again soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.